it was almost like about eight months or nine months where it was just like, I would just have diarrhea every day, like multiple times and like nothing solid for months. I'd been doing like a paleo style eating, even tried a little bit of like leaning towards keto for a bit. In my research, I came across the nutritionfacts.org coming to the conclusion based on the data, mm -hmm. it seemed that the best diet was plant-based diet. Before I started the program, I was still like really scared to travel. Mm -hmm. I just was like, I don't know when I'm going to need a bathroom. So yeah, I started getting better. I just noticed that, yeah, it was just like really consistent bowel movements. Like mm -hmm. they started to get more formed and just regular mm -hmm. and to the point where I, like I wasn't thinking about it all day, yeah. like nervous to go places. But over, over time it got to where now I still you know, that's how I'm still eating and it just feels good. Well, cool too, because I've noticed like it's also opened up time and space, like eating this way in mm. some ways, in some ways is easier. Like I'm not having yeah. to do as much cooking. Yep. I don't have to worry about like cleaning and disinfecting after mm -hmm. I do make food. And I love that. I think you have to trust that like your body can, can do certain things. And especially if you have support and coaching you can see where I once was and where I am now. And like, it feels like I'm, yeah, I did it. That's cool. Yeah. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today is testimonial time and I'm joined by Jenny, who I'm very grateful has taken the time to join us. And Jenny has healed from IBS on following our program. So welcome to the channel, Jenny. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for having me here. It feels fun. It feels fun to talk about my experience. Yeah, for sure. And and yeah, obviously you've been through a lot and gone through many things. So what I'd like you to do start to start off with is just talk about a, a little bit about, uh, you know, how you got the sit get it got into the situation where you had some digestive problems and uh, some of the different things that you tried before you found our program yeah cool so I don't even really know like what happened I just know like about two and a half two and a half years ago all of a sudden like I was actually doing some cleansing with um, with a functional medicine practitioner and to work on my immune system and I don't know, all of a sudden, like, I just started having really bad stomach issues, and then, um, so for about, it was almost, like, about eight months or nine months where it was just, like, I would just have diarrhea every day, like, multiple times, and, like, nothing solid for months, and mm. I, at this point, I wasn't working with her protocol anymore, but it was, like, something got triggered, and it just wasn't ever getting better. Mm-hmm. So I finally decided to go in and see the GI doctor and he suggested doing a colonoscopy and um, thought it was probably IBS. And so at that point, that's when I decided to reach out to you guys. Okay. And, you know, obviously, what did you find about the work that we do that really got you interested in joining the program? So I had actually... Um, I'd been doing like a paleo style eating, even tried a little bit of like leaning towards keto for a bit. Um, and so the month before I met you guys, I started researching and I thought I'm going to research all the diets, mm -hmm. paleo, keto, plant-based, vegetarian, vegan. And um, in my research, I came across the nutritionfacts.org and started watching videos and then just, yeah, just getting into more research and really kind of coming to the conclusion based on the data, mm -hmm. it seemed that the best diet was plant-based diet. Mm -hmm. And so um, on March 1st, I decided I would transition over to plant-based and I started started that whole foods plant-based. And then, um, and it did help, like my digestion was getting better, but it wasn't great still. Mm -hmm. And so a, maybe like two or three months after I started that, I reached out to you guys. I started researching and found you guys on YouTube and mm -hmm. was really curious to give your program a try. Fantastic. And and we love that, you know, we love it when people do their own research. We always say that on on all our channels is that, you know, when it comes to the internet, there's so much confusion around that we want people to do their own research. You know, don't listen to anyone online, even us. You know, you have to do your own research. Have a look at the data. And we did that too, obviously, you know, when we were eating meat and dairy and eggs and oils and junk foods and things like that. And when we looked at the data, just like you did, we had to come to the conclusion, you know, it's the only diet that's ever reversed heart disease and diabetes. And uh, we looked at the research that shows that fiber is so important for your gut microbiome. And 
you can't go past that the evidence can you i mean it's just so important well that's something that was really great as i i really felt like based on the reading and the research it was like yeah this is not only potentially could help heal my gut but yeah it's like good for all these other things too mm. so like there's sort of like a it felt like a no lose situation to transition over I think the the plant based diet for me is the only thing that I've ever come across that is there's no real I, mean, I haven't yet found any downside to it, you know. Mm -hmm. I, there's no evidence in the scientific literature that shows that a whole food plant based diet is has any negative effects on anything, uh, mm -hmm. and you know I, I'm still yet to find a study. I've been looking for it, you know, because people come and comment all the time and say, "Oh, this diet made them like this, and this diet did this," but it's all anecdotal. I'm yet to find any real evidence to to you know, come to that conclusion. Uh, so I'm really glad you did that research and I would recommend it to anybody, even if you're looking to work with us, you do your research and, you know, if you contact us, we can put you in, you know, obviously we can show you some research that you might be interested in, but you've got to do it yourself. Mm -hmm. Right. So you obviously reached out to us and you decided that you were interested in joining the program. Uh, you know, what will, how did that process go, you know, from the first contact to, you know, joining the program, et cetera. Yeah, it was great. Like I had a free consult with um, Shamiz, just had a chance to chat with him. Mm -hmm. And I think like there was a couple things going into it I also really wanted. Um, I mean, I wanted to heal my digestive issues, but I also wanted to make sure I was getting all the nutrition that I needed. Mm -hmm. So I'd been on the plant-based diet for a few months, but I don't have any friends or family that are in, on a whole foods plant-based diet. So mm -hmm. I was like, how do I know if I'm getting all the right nutrition? Like, um, and so I was really interested in having support that way. And then also, yeah, just having the emotional support of other people who know what it's like, mm -hmm. because it really, I think there was a bit of a grieving process for me and letting go yeah. of um, not just certain foods, but then also like connecting with people that I love around food. And mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so, yeah, like I still love to watch the Great British Baking Show because I love to bake. I just watch it and think about how can I make this whole foods plant based? Is there like a way yeah. to like, yeah. you know? So yeah. I think for me there was like a big grieving process because I love to cook and I love to socialize around food. So it was helpful to get support that way. Also. Yeah, I don't think you'd be the only person who, has, who goes through that. You know, it's quite a common mm -hmm. thing. You know, you obviously any kind of change is difficult and it's hard when you make changes because anything you have to learn new. You know, nothing's easy when you first start it, but obviously, as you probably have realized now, that the longer you do it, the easier it gets, and the more you learn about what you what your taste preferences are and what you what you tend to like better, and you know, that's kind of part of the reason we don't do a meal plan. You know, mm -hmm. it's it's more about teaching and educating our clients around what what works for their lifestyle and their taste preferences, because I can tell you what I like eating, <laughs> you know, but <laughs> that might not necessarily work for you so well. Um, yeah. Cool. And the other thing that you raised that was quite interesting was that, uh, you know, when you've got digestive issues, just going vegan or just going on a whole food plant based diet is not necessarily enough. You do have to uh, eliminate certain things and then go on a reverse elimination process to try to reintroduce foods back into your diet. You can't just be like, I'm just going to eat all the whole plant foods that I want because your gut needs to heal. And so you need to be able to understand I think that's where the coaching is really beneficial from a food perspective is understanding what foods can be safe initially and then how to heal that digestive system and then slowly introduce foods back into your diet. Uh, all right. So talk about your experience on the program. So when you first started and, you know, some of the symptoms you got, some of the detox you went through, just discuss some of those things. Yeah. So when I first started, yeah, I, it was weird because when I transitioned to whole foods plant-based on my own March, like almost immediately I started feeling like able to exercise again, which mm -hmm. I hadn't really felt good enough to exercise for a couple of years, mm -hmm. but also like wanting to exercise. And so that felt good. I was, and I'd kind of already done some detoxing, I think from just that shift, um, where I had like some fatigue at first, but then it, all, all of a sudden I wanted to exercise again. And then when I started with your program, yeah, I noticed like, I noticed that I started to get like weird symptoms, mm -hmm. like, kind of oozing in my ears and um, um, I've had like burning in my urethra and um, can't really remember when I started if the diarrhea got worse or better. I thought like it was kind of kind of up and up down. And down. Yeah. yeah. But I also like I think I started getting 
better. I also think I started noticing some improvement pretty quickly. Mm. Um, it's funny. It's only a few months ago, but it's kind of hard to remember. <laughs> yeah, the body, the body is very good at forgetting pain. Like the human yeah. body, it's, uh, you forget pain really quick, and you yeah. forget suffering really quick. You know. Um, yeah. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, just try your best to explain to people what what it was like um, and and yeah. how it started to get better. Yeah. So I know, like before I started the program, I was still like really scared to travel. Mm -hmm. I just was like, I don't know when I'm going to need a bathroom, mm -hmm. and then. Um, yeah, when I started, I just remember, I remember, oh, and I remember I felt really foggy headed for a few days. I remember like in the beginning, I was like, I was like nervous. It was making things worse. Mm -hmm. So I'm feeling that and then checking in with, um, with you guys about that. And mm -hmm. she was like, just keep going. And like, yeah. oh, it was scary. And I'm not like as sick probably as some people who start your program. So mm -hmm. I had a little bit more room to kind of like, Maybe I'll just go backwards for a minute and just mm. go back to what I was doing and then try it again. So I did that a little bit. Yeah. Over time, I started to feel better and better mm -hmm. on like the fruit in the morning and things like that. Mm -hmm. So it did take me a little bit of time to adjust. And I think I had a little wiggle room since yep. I was sick of some people. Yeah. But, um, but over, over time, it got to where now I still, you know, that's how I'm still eating and it just feels good. So, mm. Yeah. Yeah, but it's, it did take me a little bit of time, and yeah. it was kind of scary to like feel all those symptoms coming up, and yeah. Yeah, that's that's something that a lot of people, and this is why we really think the coaching is beneficial, is because for a lot of people it does get a little bit worse because what happens in the body is that the the food digests so much easier that there is a lot more energy available for healing to happen. And this allows the body to actually go into uh, a much kind of stronger healing phase because it wants to heal faster. And so because the symptoms are signs of healing and because when you have to remove some of these toxins, they have to only come out physically, you will experience, most people anyway, not everybody does, but most people will experience some level of worsening, you know, and that's all relative depending on how you experience it. But um, before it starts to get better and then when it starts to get better it's like this real amazing kind of elation kind of moment where you start to realize hey my body's turned the corner and you know so yeah I mean talk about a little bit around how your bowel motions are and how you know you just feel generally as you started to get better from from that process mm -hmm. yeah so yeah I started getting better I just noticed that yeah, it was just like really consistent bowel movements. Like mm -hmm. they started to get more formed and just regular mm -hmm. and to the point where I, like I wasn't thinking about it all day, yeah. like nervous to go places. Um, and sometimes if I was kind of lazy or if we were traveling and I was eating out more, like I'd have flares again. And it was just like, I just have to go back and just stay in this way of eating. And when I mm -hmm. eat that way, I feel really good. And so my bowel movements were... Um, yeah, they just started getting better and better until it was probably like two or three weeks ago where I'm like, I've had like two weeks of just like very consistent, like perfect bowel movements that hmm. felt really exciting. Yeah, that is exciting. And, you know, getting, getting your life back and not having to be controlled by, you know, where the closest toilet is and yes. whether you can go out that day or can I, can I, you know, I want to go to this place. Can I actually go or not? There's, it's really liberating, I think, you know, congratulations to you because you've taken that control and you've taken that power back and, you know, you don't let anyone else take that power from you. Um, yeah. Okay, so quickly just discuss a little bit about what your life is like now, like what are you able to do and how you feel yeah. in general? Yeah, it's nice. So, like, in general, I think it just, I think it actually really opened me up to, like, what's the next step in my life and my life with my husband and and I think too like a big part of like why I wanted to heal so much was because me and my husband wanted to start trying to have a baby mm -hmm. and so I think like that was a big motivator for me and I think it kept me on the path sometimes mm -hmm. too and it's hard is like I really want to feel good I want my hormones to be in balance mm. and I was not feeling strong enough um before I started the yeah. plant-based diet before I started the coaching, my body just felt weak and I was having so much diarrhea and I was just like, I don't know how I could be pregnant and hmm. I was really nervous about that. So um, now I just noticed like I can travel, I can get out and about. I, um, you know, my husband and I have started trying to have for 
trying to have a baby and it just feels exciting mm -hmm. and I don't know, I just feel healthy and strong. So that feels really exciting. Yeah, it's important. You know, obviously, you know, my wife and I have had a baby in the last two years and I, seeing what your body has to go through to do that, you want it to be in as strong a place as it can. You know, you really want to make sure that it's able to handle the stresses that it's going to go under and definitely, you know, in our experience and reading the research and the evidence, the plant-based diet is just the best thing you can do to, you know, and, you know, I guess for anyone who wants to know the benefits of a plant-based diet for kids and you know, watching this video, I'll put a link up to one of the videos I did about that. But, um, you know, credit to you because, you know, that little one, when, when he or she comes around, um, will be in a really good place for sure. That's okay. cool. And it's cool too, because I've noticed like, it's also opened up time and space, like, eating this way in mm. some ways, in some ways is easier. Like I'm not having yeah. to do as much cooking. Yep. I don't have to worry about like cleaning and disinfecting after mm -hmm. I do make food. And I love that. Mm -hmm. um, I just, Things don't yeah. stick to the, to the dishes as much and you know, you no. don't have grease everywhere and no. yeah. <laughs> it's so much. Yeah. I, I agree with you. You know, initially it's obviously a bit more scary and trying to understand, okay, what am I going to eat and how am I going to do this? But once you get into a groove, you realize, Hey, this is actually easier. And secondly, I feel that I have more variety in my diet now than I did before. Yes. So that's really interesting too from, from my perspective. Mm -hmm. All right, wow. just, just to finish off, I always like uh, clients to give a bit of advice to people watching this video. So, you know, there might be someone else who's going through a similar situation to you and, you know, might, might be helpful to get some advice from you. So what advice would you give someone who's in a similar situation to where you were? Yeah, so my biggest advice would be to do your research and like, you know, do comparative research. Like if you're interested and curious about different things, like research them all about the same time and see what you're learning about all of them. So that mm. was really helpful for me. Mm. Do your research and then trust yourself. I think for me it was like a mix between listening to Shakul and Shamiz and mm -hmm. then coming back and just listening to myself and finding, you know, how far can I stretch today and what mm. am I ready for? And and what, what am I not ready for? And again, mm -hmm. I had more wiggle room because I wasn't as sick as some people. But if you're really sick, I think you have to trust that like your body can can do certain things, and especially if you have support and coaching. Yeah. Um, so I think trust yourself, and um, and then I think the other thing would be like find community and find enjoyment. So like one of the things I'm really looking at doing now is starting like a plant based party once a month <laughs> and starting to introduce other people that um other people to this way of living and eating and it's a lot of it's selfish because i want to have a connection and community <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yeah. it ends up benefiting them too you know so it's for sure i think find a way to take this new way of living and eating and don't you don't have to isolate yourself but find ways to share it with other people mm -hmm. um, while still maintaining what you need to maintain for your own health and body absolutely wonderful and um you know thank you so much for sharing your journey and uh Shamiz and i are very proud of you and congratulations for getting your life back and um all i can say is here's to a really amazing future for you and um yeah wishing you all the best oh thank you shakul that feels really good